Happy Mondays are about to release Rope for Luck again, called WFL, which has been specially remixed for them by Vince Clark. However, their latest single, Lazy Itis, is still around, which features 60s legendary artist Carl Denver. Because of this film, this, uh, they asked me would I do this film, this one-armed boxer thing. Because of the tattoo in the hand, it's a supernatural thing, apparently. But uh, I don't know much more about it than that. And then he just said, would you like to do a duet with a prima donna? <laughs> and I said, yes. And it turned out to be him. I was expecting a good-looking dame. But he's nice with it, aren't you, little? Yeah. Yeah, very yeah. nice with it. Carl, had you heard a lot about Happy Mondays before? Was it the first time or what? Well, just, well, well I heard it. I, I was thrilled. <laughs> I was thrilled to meet them. I said, who are you? <laughs> he said, my name's Sean. I said, well, caught for that, and I hit him. And he laughed, and I thought, what a swell guy. He's right in the chin. True or false? True. Oh, yeah. One child to What have you been doing since we last heard from you then, say in the 50s and 60s? Oh, I've been, I've been away back in, uh, in Africa, in, in Rhodesia, in Zimbabwe, and uh, Australia, various other places, you know, Spain, and uh, having a swell time. What? Playing all of you. I'm doing this uh, funky, still doing my African music, you know. It's not much different from the Sean's type of music. Do either of you feel an affinity with each other at all? What does that mean? Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, what does that mean? Are we aff uh, am I affiliated? The same as they do in these clubs, you know, when you, you go in and say, are you affiliated? And you say, no, they say, well, you can't come in. Yes, I, I feel like uh, I like their music, you know, and uh, they're young guys and they don't care. And I've always been like that anyway. And I'm fairly young. Next. Well, do you feel a lot in common with Carl? Yes. We've got an all right, don't we? Swell. <laughs> don't we? <laughs> uh, it's a good old geezer. Hey, bless the old geezer. I was going to ask you about the um, drug associ associations that we've recently read in the press um, when you went over to Jersey. Uh, see, Carl, what exactly happened about that? Well, I was checking him. What, what happened? What exactly happened about it? Or? About it? Uh, nothing, yes. Nothing. What happened when you were, well, from the press stories that people have read, what happened? Uh, I was checking him someone with some coke because he needed some. Yeah, I did. And uh, yeah, I, I got caught with his gear. Caught so mine, I'm going to do a bit of bird for him. So I sneezed and it all went away and they had no evidence. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's it. So what a rubbish all that. I've never even taken an aspirin in my life. And that's true, I've never taken an aspirin in my life. Were you aware when you um, were asked to work with the band about um, associations with drugs, not necessarily with them, but the, the aura they've got about them with drug associations? I didn't know anything about any aura because I never heard anything about that. And I, I've never seen anything. When I've been with them, I've never seen them taking anything coffee and that and he, he likes a grub he's into all the soups and things like that but i've never seen any any drugs passing I think I did the i'm enjoying myself more now than i ever have you know with all the, the tours years ago you know when a bus from sort of uh, up uh, Elgin to Dover the next night, you know, the next, just getting in when you're finished and travelling all night and things like that, they were terrible tours. Enjoyable then, but I'm enjoying myself more now. 
it's much better. Because you're hanging around with us, isn't it? Of course, and the break dancing. The break dancing. I do a lot of break dancing. Teaching it now. Burned all my shoes out there. These are new shoes. Burned my pumps and my feet go that fast. They smolder and burn. <laughs> it doesn't bother me. I'm the man who shot the boss.